Genshin Impact generates 3.7 billion on mobile in first two years. Holy shit, dude. Bro. And then if it has the cyberpunk, if it has the fucking cyberpunk edge runners, uh, I'm pretty sure cyberpunk edge runners was one of the most successful anime to video game population increases of all time. There's not, or like any entertainment adaption that then feeds back, looped back into the fucking game ever. No one watched the fucking Uncharted movie and then Uncharted sales like skyrocketed. All right, fuck no. Cyberpunk, I actually still want to go back and play more. Uh, actually true. I wonder how effective Arcane was. The thing is, Cyberpunk Edge Runner's budget was fucking tiny compared to Arcane. They went literally all out for fucking Arcane. Like, Arcane was, like, fucking crazy in terms of you could tell, like, they had a big budget. How much it fucking pushed over and uh, gave League more players? I'm curious. There were really, no one was talking about it after the fact. People were just hung up on how the show was really good. Whereas Cyberpunk Edge Runners, it was like, yo, what the fuck? This anime literally made it, so... There's now, they passed The Witcher 3 on concurrent players. That's fucking crazy. Genshin Impact generates 3.7 billion on mobile. That's insane. I want to see this via region. Like, what region spent the most money? Honor of Kings? What the fuck is Honor of Kings? Holy shit, PUBG. Wait. September 28th, 2020 to September 26th, 2022. So two years. Fucking Roblox, 2.5 billion? That's not surprising. I actually invested a little bit in Roblox. It was a fucking terrible idea. Uh, Candy Crush, you always hear about Candy Crush. The thing about Candy Crush is they've been around for so long. This is just like year 10 of billions. Genshin Impact? That's fucking ridiculous. What is Honor of Kings? Jesus. Who are these fucking people on trains just, like, pushing money into these games? Wait, Honor of Kings World? They're making an MMO? Regardless, because the trailer, just simply going on the trailer alone... Oh yeah, that, I remember this. So, I just want to talk about what we saw today. Oh, yeah, this actually looks pretty good. Thoughts on it, and kind of just share what we have so far. So, if you guys do enjoy this, you do enjoy the video, you... The bitrate sucks, real, but through it, leave, it actually know, looks clean. Like video, let me know in the the water below. looks fucking beautiful. Lately, definitely don't forget to subscribe. It does really help me out. Kind of gives me a good gauge as to the kind of things that you guys have been enjoying lately. So, I can sort of uh, bring you more of that on Damn, the Yo, the water anyway, looks awesome. said... This trailer dropped this weekend and it's called Honor of Kings World. Now, for those of you guys that don't know the series, Honor of Kings is a competitive battle game or a MOBA on both iOS and Android. And it was released way back in November 2015 in China. It's and a MOBA? To the Timmy Studio Group, who, of course, the team that produced this, again, published by Tencent. It was the first game to average uh. 100 million daily active users in the world and is one of the world's highest grossing games of all time. So it's fair oh, to say so this is Tencent's cash cow. Pretty massive. Of course, mobile gaming is huge in China, so that's uh, that's kind of to be expected. I have absolutely zero experience with Honor of Kings. I have not touched it. I hadn't heard about it before I saw this trailer, so I can't really talk about the MOBA in any capacity. That being said, they then dropped this trailer, which again is called Honor of Kings World, which, surprise, surprise, is their open world game. Yeah, this looks sick. Games, this is probably them trying to sort of step into the Genshin Impact market, that kind of thing. It's not the only open world game, but given the huge success of things like Genshin Impact... It doesn't look like some potato-ass game. Probably their, uh, it their looks sort of clean. Design ...ethos or design idea behind making this switch. Again, this will be part of the uh, Honor of Kings world. Quite how it will connect, I don't really know. Again, I don't know anything about the characters, the world, or anything like that. But the fact that it's part of the same universe, I would imagine there'll be a uh, character here, that sort of thing that you will uh, see across both of those. And the game itself is planned for a worldwide release on multiple platforms. No actual details just yet, but typically when they say multiple platforms, it'd be fair to say probably Damn. PC, PlayStation, Xbox, that kind of thing. However, right now there is no release date. So effectively, the trailer is all we have to go on. 
and when you look at it, visually, it's a very nice looking game. Again, a lot of this is CG, but right off the bat, you've got a lot of nice, vibrant colours, the sort of a colour palette you'd expect, again, from sort of a Genshin Impact, Breath of the Wild, that kind of feel. But what I really liked about this... Wait, again, hold up. Honestly, like Honor of Kings... Honor of Kings uh, gameplay. Yo, what the fuck? This this looks awesome. Ten months ago, when is this coming out? This looks like a cooler... Gen if this is like a Genshin style, this looks like a cooler-ass Genshin. It has like a... It has obviously like a little bit of an anime vibe, but like a way cooler aesthetic. Wait, wrong game? No. Hey, I'll be localized. I know it's the wrong game. I know, I know, I understand. I know this isn't the one that fucking made 5.5 bill. But this is clearly that game's success funded this world game. Yeah, yeah, I would fucking play this. This is coming out on PC. No real-time gameplay? You're blind. This is gameplay. You guys, I don't understand. That was clearly fucking gameplay into... Sure, they edited it and there's some in-game cutscenes. Chat, I don't understand you guys. You know, for such a variety channel, the fucking viewers are dumb as fuck. Motherfuckers see every goddamn game from fucking left field to right field to a fucking different universe and still don't- can't differentiate shit. This shit is supposed to be in mobile. No, fucker! This is the fucking game they announced that is coming out on console and PC. I mean, with the way Eric's uh, described it, I guess this is their Genshin Impact style game. So it wouldn't be an MMO. You would just be like, yeah, is there a release date at all? No release date? I don't know if there's a release date. But yeah, man, I don't know. That looked kind of sick. But this is a proof of concept trailer as opposed to actual genuine gameplay. But the sort of seamless transition from cutscene into- Wait, what is proof of concept to trailer? I really like it. You know, this monster comes in, you have this kind of cool cutscene, the guy draws the sword, and then the camera just pans back. You see the life bar coming? Nah. That's a very, very smooth transition. So if the game could actually play like that, that would be fantastic. As for combat itself, typical sort of action setup, think things like Monster Hunter, Dark Souls, that kind of thing. You know, from the way you look at combat, you have your regular swipes. There appears to be like a heavier swipe where you can see the character can basically charge his 
sword charges attacks for like a heavier hit. We of course see in the bottom right hand corner you have some abilities. These seem to change depending on the stance he's in. So when he enters into the sort of charging state, the icons will switch. So whether they're linked specifically to your actual abilities or whether it's linked more so to just like, you know, holding down a button, switching. Yeah, but this is still a gameplay. There's no denying. There, this is still fucking gameplay. Proof of concept or not does it not mean it's not fucking gameplay. The horns and the arms seem to take a hit, which causes him to topple. Of course, putting him. He's literally describing what the fuck is going on with the buttons the pressed. Does have a health bar, so you can of course see that and track that. So that much is of course a difference. You'll also notice in this situation that there is a team of two. Obviously, all the gameplay is uh, done from the perspective of the sword wielder, but we do see, of course, a teammate here with a bow. So we at least know sort of. Isn't Genshin two-player two. co-op? If this is an open-world RPG, I'd be willing to think that maybe this might well jump up into your sort of conventional three, four-man squads. That would. Be oh, really four cool. players. Again, we haven't sort of seen any other perspectives, but given that it is an open-world RPG, I would be willing to bet it probably is sort of other human players as opposed to just like an oh. control player. At least that's what I would like to see because honestly, being able to explore a world like this with your The way the person moves on the right looks way more AI. Then of course, during the boss fight, the uh, the sort of enemy they were fighting at the beginning, which honestly was going down pretty fast. They were kind of working through his health bars like, ah, this guy doesn't even look that strong. Then this ginormous beast just comes out the sky, squashes him and he's like, hello, I'm the real boss. Uh, we don't even see a health bar for him. So clearly he is pretty No, strong. just like and Genshin, this that, this would obviously be localized. Sort of the world. And this is where you almost sort of see what you would expect from a regular open world. We see some general enemy mobs, sort of uh, some combat taking place, which I would assume is from- maybe I'm pretty sure players. Genshin Impact even started as Chinese. It's a Chinese company. Birds, these giant sort of stone golems. It then zooms into the sky. I think they borrowed Kyogre from Pokemon, but he uh, seems to be flying through the sky. And then we go into the title sequence as it but yeah man yo th that looked fucking sick i would that looked awesome that looks like a way cooler genshin than like tower of fucking fantasy which is basically taking a very like the genshin formula taking their own spin on it but still being anime as fuck this like aesthetic is so much sicker to look at um but yeah wait honor of kings who the fuck plays this shit anyone here play this Honor of Kings Pro Player Insane Rotation. <laughs> Is this big in China? This looks like fucking League of Legends. <laughs> what? It's only in China? Holy shit. What? You're telling me the highest grossing mobile game in the fucking world. Which is what I'm assuming here. Is a fucking game <laughs> that looks just like fucking League. It's League's map. That's insane. It's just the population. I mean, true. You take... America and Europe and you're not at China's population and of course there's more gamers in general in China and you know Chinese people are obviously more tech savvy right off the bat than most Americans and Europeans so that like video games are way more appealing Chat, don't fucking spin it in a weird fucking direction, you dumb fucks. There's nothing wrong about that. I'd rather have people- having more people who are tech-savvy makes way more sense. It's more like LOL, NA, and EU aren't as tech-savvy. Fucking morons. Same with Korea. And like, say India kind of gets there. PUBG Mobile in India? Isn't PUBG Mobile in India? Most of this revenue generated is probably from India as well.
On top of the fact, just from population in itself, there's going to be more tech-savvy people. Even though this shit was banned in India. That's fucking ridiculous, though. This is literally fucking League. And it's grossed that much money. That's insane. But yeah, PUBG Mobile, it's all about China and India. Honor of Kings, all China. Genshin Impact, I don't know. Genshin Impact probably had the biggest NA impact. I feel like Genshin Impact was way bigger than Honor of Kings and PUBG Mobile in, in North America. I'm pretty sure. Read the graph note. Wait, does not include revenue from third-party Android stores in China or other regions? What the fuck? Are you serious? Who the fuck is playing this? Wait, does not include from third-party Android stores. Wait, wait, no, 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 never mind, never mind, never mind. No, 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 no. What are you talking about? No, this is still including, this is a very small amount. Does not include revenue from third-party Android stores. That doesn't change shit. Yeah, this is like from smaller stores. Who gives a shit? Right? Am I reading this right? Yeah, when I read it first, it was way more impactful. But then when I read it slower, you get it's not that big of a deal. It doesn't exclude much. Like the Husui store and the Howie store and shit like that. Google Play Store isn't in China. Only third party in China. Uh, China doesn't use Play Store. Wait. Oh my god. So you're telling me it's even way bigger than this then. Because if they don't use the Play Store, that means what is the go-to first Android store that you go to? Uh, the, the store on iOS is fine. But whatever... Is it like in China? Is it like you go to like the the phone manufacturer's store? Like you go to Howie's store? You go to um like fucking Galaxy or Samsung's store? You go to like OnePlus's store instead of going to uh the Play Store? Alibaba has its own app store. Ah, oh. yeah, that's fucking crazy, man. Jesus Christ. Made me more interested in uh, Honor of Kings, um, this game, though. This is on my radar now, for sure. That's crazy, dude. <clears throat> Genshin Impact Global Player Spending by Quarter. Goddamn, bro. How much is it to get... Wait, yo, in Genshin, how much is it to get 10 rolls? Was it like 20 bucks? How much is 10 rolls? $2 a roll? 20 bucks? See, this is the thing. This is why Blizzard is probably like, these fucking Overwatch 2 fucking annoying bitches. Motherfuckers complaining about a goddamn $20 fucking battle pass. Dumb fucks. So shut the fuck up. This is why we're going into fucking mobile. Because the mobile gamers shut the fuck up and just swipe the card. Gamba is built into them. The fucking PC fucks are so goddamn annoying. They always gotta post and flood our fucking forums with their fucking wow shit ass fucking level 80 every achievement haven't left their fucking room given their shit ass fucking feedback when we can just release a fucking mobile game and no one says shit. There's not a peep. There's not even the, 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 you know, fucking, you think there's a, you think there's a honor of kings, goddamn fucking YouTuber who criticizes the fucking company's every move? Fuck no. These motherfuckers just swipe. They just fucking swipe. The Genshin Impact motherfuckers, they just fucking swipe $20 for, uh, 10 rolls. No one gives a fuck. Overwatch 2, though. Oh my god, the most vocal motherfuckers you can imagine. Every fucking YouTuber all over criticizing the battle pass. I'm not, I'm not like justifying, whatever, whatever the bullshit is with Overwatch 2. I don't really give a fuck. I'm not that invested. But it's like, oh my god, these fucks. And they aren't even gonna make 
near a billion dollars on Overwatch 2. Not gonna make even near. Same with World of Warcraft. Not even near a billion dollars for, for World of Warcraft, but holy shit are their communities fucking vocal. They don't shut the fuck up. They don't shut the fuck up. But then you go on mobile. Motherfuckers don't make a peep. You make billions. Easy clap. It's insane. It's insane. Google Stadia shutting down. Oh my god, bro. Uh, oh god. Is anyone surprised? Is anyone surprised? There are like three players left. The last three fucking players holding Stadia together. The guy fucking adding plus 50 fucking hours in his Witcher 3 Stadia playthrough. As it fucking lags on his fucking horse. And then he finally gets to the fucking end. And because it's been fucking laggy and the bit rates have been so fucking low. He didn't even realize he was playing fucking Geralt the whole fucking time. Because his fucking face was fucked. Because it was such shit quality. Ah, oh, God. The last three. Yo, a message about Stadia and our long-term streaming strategy. Two seconds of inborn lag. Yo, that's actually insane, though. You're wrong about that. You're wrong about that. There's a guy with 6,000 hours in RDR2 begging devs to transfer his character. Dude, it was an extra 4k hours because every time he fucking went to the quest, it fucking rubber banded his back, his ass back to fucking, uh, whatever fucking town in goddamn RDR2. Fucking strawberry. <laughs> they forgot to tell the devs and employees. Wait, what? Stadia's... Game devs and study employees alike were blindsided by the sudden shutdown. What? <laughs> what the fuck? For many years, Google has invested across multiple aspects of the gaming industry. We help developers build and distribute game apps on Google Play. A few years ago, we also launched a consumer gaming service, Stadia. And while Stadia's approach to streaming games for consumers was built on a... How long is this shit? Oh, it's not that long. Uh, on Strong Technical Foundation has gained the traction with users that we expected, so we've made the difficult decision to begin win winding down our Stadia streaming service. We're grateful to the dedicated Stadia players that have been with us from the start, the five of you. We will be refunding all Stadia hardware purchases made through the Google Store and all game and add-on content purchases made through the Stadia Store. Wait, how far does this date back? Didn't you need a separate console to even play the Stadia? Wasn't it like a hundred bucks, hundred fifty? Wait, what? A hundred percent? I thought you needed a physical device. No, just a Chromecast. What did what? I thought they had hardware. Was it a Stadia controller? No sub, no con. Oh, it was a controller. You need a Chromecast and you need a controller. So if you bought a controller, you get a refund. And any, how did you play games on the Stadia? Like if I wanted to load up fucking RDR2, is it like a fraction of the price? Yeah, no shit you stream it. I understand that. <laughs> what? It's full price? So you have to have, you didn't need the Stadia controller, but you would be on Google Chrome. You'd load up Stadia. You'd pay 60 bucks for RDR2 and then through their cloud service play the game. You never tried it? I had no reason to try it. Plus a monthly subscription. Wow. Wow. You still own... The Wait, can you then take the game you got? If I bought RDR2 on the Stadia store, could I then, if I had purchased a PlayStation 4 or 5, then, then played it there? Or would I have to buy a different copy? So you're tied into the cloud on the purchase. The only reason I could see doing this is if you really have no money for a console or a PC. But that makes no fucking sense. Because then why are you buying $60 games? 
you can buy, you can pick up a PlayStation 4 for like what how much is a PS4 like 200 like 300 bucks 250 fucking eBay get a shit stained one for like 180 there's got to be some mom selling a kids for like 100 bucks cuz he got shit grades streaming 720p was free uh players will continue to have access to their games library and playthroughs January 8 uh through January 18th, 2023, so they can complete final play sessions. We expect to have the majority of refunds completed by mid-January. The underlying tech platform, the Power Study, has been proven at scale and transcends gaming. We see clear opportunities to apply this tech across other parts of Google, like YouTube, Google Play, and augmented reality, as well as make it available to our industry partners, which aligns with where we see the future of gaming headed. We remain deeply committed to gaming, and we will continue to invest in new tools. So, like... The only cloud gaming I've tried was on my TV when I connected my fucking Steam account to my, like, GeForce account. And I tried the GeForce, uh, experience or some shit. And it wasn't that bad. It was, like, surprisingly pretty fucking solid on, like, an Ethernet connection. You felt a little bit of input lag. But, like, I played Mortal Kombat on it where, like, you know, you don't want any fucking input lag. And it, de oh, GeForce Now. And it, it, they definitely improved the shit out of it. Um, but, like, there's Stadia, Xbox Cloud, and GeForce Now. And I think GeForce Now has the most diverse library of games. GeForce Now is different tech than Stadia. Yeah, I think GeForce Now is way better. I don't know, I mean, shit, I'm not, no one's surprised here. It was just a matter of time this was going to shut down. But, like, there's so many options. This one was kind of like an outlier. I don't know. Don't forget PlayStation now that changed into PS Plus. I wonder if it's actually any good. Google has killed 274 projects. Well, I mean, Google is like Microsoft, where they have a fuck ton of money, so they're just going to put their, um... They're going to try a bunch of things, and it doesn't matter if it fails. Remember fucking Microsoft's phone? Remember that shit? Mixer? Fuck, I should have took that deal. Oh, it's going to haunt me for life. Uh, yeah, shit, man. Well, damn. I don't know where that link went about. No one knew this was shutting down. Single dev game trailer project gray looks promising. If I click this and it sucks balls, I'm gonna fucking ban you, okay? Lyric with 10 viewers on Mixer? Bro, we'd be having fucking parties, okay? It'd be so goddamn fun. You guys would still be fucking doing whatever. Know, after watching it pray Cranky Pirate, what up, man? Thank you for the five gifties, dude. I mean, it's a cool concept, bro. Let's give him, like, two more years of development time. Looks like he's headed in the right direction. Uh, okay. Lol, lol. What is this game? What's the situation? Oh, Current this situation game. Assessment. We are on the moon. Oh. In the Earth? About to explode. I am not going to TwitchCon this year, okay? Twitch said that I will be at the meet and greet. I was initially going to go, but I am not going. All right? And you're telling me this thing is in charge? With enough energy... We can rewind the Earth. Did you see that? All I can see is your face. Oh. 
I mean, you know, this game has a. I like how you rewind time and shit. A talking gun and a glorified vacuum cleaner. This is a puzzle game. All right, here goes nothing. It looks like it's well made. Oh, that can't be good. Uh, Astra? Directive, run! You are surrounded. Yeah, I can see that. Detecting multiple entropy bots in the vicinity. This is going to work. Trust me. I mean, this game, it looks like it's pretty solid. November 3rd. Yeah, I mean, it's not like a holy fuck, but uh, it looks it looks cool. Of course, everyone's going to say Portal. Like, no shit, bro. Fucking Nostradamus over here. But yeah, I would say definitely inspiration from Portal, of course. But you look past that shit. That's like the shallow fucking visual. But it looks like it changes it up enough to, you know, be have its own identity. Yeah, honestly, playing Wrath and now having fucking Ste my WoW on my Steam Deck literally made me want to just play retail and gear up a care uh, raid. I mean, I don't think I'd be able to raid on my Steam Deck, but casually play an MMO on my Steam Deck's kind of nice. The Dragon Isles. Anyone here play uh, retail? Do you have to do covenant shit? The future will unfold as it was meant to. Open your mind to what is yet to come. No point in starting now. Yeah. I guess I will just wait for a dragon flight then. Events are unfolding that imperil us all. The threat is greater than you know, young ones. We must join forces and strike now. You balance upon the cusp of destiny. All that matters is this moment. Shoot! I mean, shit, bro. I mean, whatever. I was like playing a new expansion. <clears throat> like I said, I don't... It's like, you know, I don't play the game every day. I don't live, breathe, wow like I used to. So just... New shit to do in the game, a new expansion, going back to it is, like, fun to me. You know? I don't need to criticize the game in every direction. I don't, I'm not that invested. So it's, like, gonna be more fun for me compared to someone who needs to look at every fucking change type shit, you know? Even if I do quit after a month or some shit, you know? I'm, I'm not, like, I'm gonna play that every fucking day. But now that I have it on the Steam Deck, I would I could see this being one of my main games. To just like chill out, play it casually. Obviously not on stream, but when I want to just game off stream. Oh yeah, Callisto Protocol came out with a trailer yesterday, which is kind of fucking cool. What is this? This game is gonna be so good, dude. I'm craving like a sci-fi. Linear game. I will say, every footage they've shown of this game, it looks laggy in game. That's 
my only concern. And why? It's like someone's trying to cover up what's happening here. Oh, is that the girl from the boys? So what happened to the original colony? Abandoned. Oh, that's kind of cool. With the rest of Callisto. They didn't have a clue what was going on. Things are changing. They're evolving. These aren't accidents. There's a pattern. Escape, Jacob. About? Not anymore. What's it about? Answers. As you wish. Soon everything will become clear. The truth of Black Iron. Um. The fuck? He looks so weird here. Oh, retro prisoner skin. It looks like a mini fate, like a a miniature figure. December second. Why was I thinking this game's coming out? Oh my god! Wait. Oh okay. Yo, this is insane. Plague Tale, God of War, Callisto Protocol. There's like actually a hundred percent worth beating single player games, dropping very fast. Jesus. Scorn. Scorn comes out next week. Oh, wait, no. Scorn comes out in two weeks. Overwatch 2 is next week. When is Evil West coming out? Evil... Oh, yeah, and then Gotham Knights comes out, too, right? Gotham Knights is still kind of a question mark. Evil West doesn't have a... Evil West is November 22nd. Wow. Okay. So, Scorn into some other games in October... Uh, into play. No, I think uh, Plague Tales October. Harry Potter's next year. Scorn's October fourteenth now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 